In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to perform a contact retention test with the Chevrolet SSR main cooling fan terminal connector to see if it's still viable to be used with your main cooling fan. And it only takes just a few pennies to buy the tester. One of the most common failures in an electrical circuit is where there are wire splices or connections and the terminal connectors within those connections often can fail or expand over time due to heat or high amp draw through them. And here are some of the examples of the failed ones from the Chevrolet SSR. And these are for the electrical connection for the cooling fan, main cooling fan. And they have very common failures that I'll show you in a moment, but it's not limited to something just like the SSR with the cooling fan situation. Now I do have an example here of one from my Chevrolet Caprice. It's also a cooling fan connector. It actually connects to this control module here. And you can see that over time that the circuit was overheated due to a poor connection at this terminal connection, terminal connector here. And the plastic started melting and at some point this would have actually failed. And another common failure point in some of the GM installations is at the fuel pump. I had also, again, another example from my Chevrolet Caprice is the fuel pump connector here. You can see that it actually got hot enough to burn the plastic. I'm going to do a very quick contact retention test here. You can see that the other three pins here have a corresponding sized pin from my AES Wave uh, U-Test Advanced Terminal Kit and the insertion of the pin in here has drag on it, both inserting and pulling back. And you can see that for second position, the third position. But when we get down here, there's absolutely no resistance. And due to that poor connectivity, the excess heat gets generated, or heat gets generated from that poor connection. And then that causes the terminal itself to expand and thus the problem seems to feed on itself to the point where it starts burning or melting the plastic here. So that's a common failure point in the fuel pump connection on the Chevrolet Caprice and the Chevy SS sedan potentially when they get over about 100,000 miles. Now with the Chevrolet SSR, there is a similar connection failure point on the cooling fan and the cooling fan connection was designed to be connected and disconnected uh, about no more than five to 10 times and it can be an issue given the high amp draw through the connector. I was sent some examples of failed connectors from Mike at Simple Engineering, and some of these don't look that bad. And in fact, that's probably one of the good ones here. Let's get one of the really bad ones here and see if you can get an image there. On the ground leg here, you can see it got so hot it melted the plastic up here. And some other examples of failures. This one started to melt and the Terminal connection point uh, started to expand, the plastic started to melt away. And let's see what we got here. Similar here, a little bit worse as far as how much had melted away. One of the things that you should do if you are replacing a, a device such as the cooling fan with a new one, you want to check the electrical terminal connectors that are going to be reused to make sure they're viable for the replacement part. As I showed you with my Caprice, I ended up actually finding a brand new or a replacement pigtail from a vehicle in a wrecking yard to replace this. And with the Chevrolet SSR, there is a similar offering that uh, Mike at Simple Engineering has to replace the pigtail portion that's on the vehicle side of the connection. And I'm gonna show you what it would be with a, an example terminal that Mike sent me from the OEM side of the fan, the male spade here that comes out of the fan connection side. And if you try to insert it, you can get this in view here. It has drag going in and there's tension. There's no walking out of that uh, connection, the terminal connector at all. And it takes uh, tension, uh, pressure to pull it out. Same in all those positions. It's, it has tension going in and it doesn't freely pull out. You have to pull it out. Same in all three positions. So that's what a good new connection looks like. But if we perform that same test on, let's say this one here, again, most common failure with the SSR cooling fan is on the negative uh, ground connection here. Um, and if we go to the other two connections, we can see that it has takes tension to insert and pull out, insert. This is actually a little looser, but it, it still takes tension to push in and pull out. And then with the ground section, 
basically there's absolutely no tension going in or out. It, it just freely moves in and out, which is incorrect. And thus the generation of the heat for the amount of current being drawn through this particular thing, this connector terminal here. So the ground connection is usually where it fails. So that's an example of using the original OEM connector. Now I had my AS Wave test kit here. I have a couple terminals from those where I can replicate that same behavior. Tension, tension, absolutely no tension going in and out. So that's another example of that. And I have a slightly smaller mail spade uh, ter test terminal from there. And with this melted one, obviously there's absolutely no resistance here whatsoever. But I, I hear you asking yourself, well, what am I gonna do? I don't have one of those. So here we have a 14 to 16 wire gauge mail spade that you can get at most any hardware store or Walmart or any place that you can get these electrical connectors. These all measure 32 thousandths of an inch as far as their uh, diameter here, their thickness. And it, it's the equivalent to the OEM connector, which is actually just a hair under that, which is a 31 thousandths. So they're reasonably similar as far as thickness. So you can take one of these, put it on a wire to do your contact retention test. And again, it should take a bit of tension or pressure to push it in and a bit of uh, tugging on it to pull it out. Same here. That's a little bit tighter than the other one. And then the end one here, again, absolutely no no effort required to, to insert that and remove it from that particular connector. So if you're replacing your cooling fan, make sure you get a test mail spade connector like this. It's a 14 to 16 the four, with the blue connector uh, insulation cover and put it on a test lead like that and do that same test. I can, I'll show you that it works the same way on all these here. Again, no resistance, no real resistance there at all as far as moving in, inserting and removing it. Resistance in, resistance out. So this is a reasonable equivalent to the OEM connector here to replicate that size of uh, male spade connector that would be used from the OEM connector on the fan side to connect into the OEM side of the harness connector on the vehicle side of this. So if you find that you have a connector of, like this that has either melted plastic like this, which is an obvious failure here, or deformities um, in the plastic. You can tell it's beginning to overheat and beginning to melt the plastic. Same here. And much like I saw on my Caprice on the fuel pump, that's an obvious sign that that's wrong. So if you have a situation like that with your particular SSR, make sure that you check out offerings from Simple Engineering for a replacement pigtail where you would then cut the wires back at staggered lengths. You would then uh, crimp these connectors onto the wires and solder them in, so it's a crimp and solder connection. And then you put your insulating cover over it, heat it to shrink it, and then you have a viable replacement for the connector to your OEM cooling fan or replacement cooling fan. If you're replacing the cooling fan in your Chevrolet SSR, or simply removing it for another reason, and you're disconnecting the main connection to the cooling fan, it's the perfect opportunity to perform a contact retention test like I showed you earlier in the video. Getting a male spade terminal connector like this is usually pretty inexpensive, and it's a 14 to 16 wire gauge, put on a test wire, perform that contact retention test, and obviously this one is not usable any longer because there's just no resistance. That's why the plastic was beginning to melt. Because poor connectivity results in heat with high amp draw through it. And that's the main reason this particular connector fails is the looseness of the terminal connectors starts and then it starts feeding on itself and it gets worse over time. So make sure if you find anything that's loose in this particular terminal here, any of the terminals, make sure you replace the whole uh, connector with a brand new one. There is a replacement part from simple-engineering.com. If you look on that site, Mike has a product called SSR Main Fan Harness Repair Kit, and it includes the parts necessary to perform the replacement. You have the new connector, the pigtail wires coming out, the uninsulated connectors here to crimp and then solder, which is what the note in here says to make sure you crimp and solder those. And then put the heat shrink wrap over the uninsulated crimp connectors and then the outer shell to go around that whole thing. And then these are staggered to make sure you don't have one bulky connection at one point. So that thins it out to make it easy to put into the protective covering. 
So hopefully you found that the information in this video is helpful to you. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this one. And if you'd like to check out the description section, I should have a link to the Simple Engineering website and I'll have other information about affiliate links, my Amazon influencer store. So if you'd like to support the channel, check out my Amazon influencer store about products and that I've either reviewed or used on my channel and other ways to support the channel are down there below. I'll see you in the next one.